Welcome back to Shoe Care Academy, powered by Rejuvenator. My name is Nick, and today we're gonna to be taking on these Nike X Concepts SB Orange Lobster Dunk Lows. Now, these shoes we picked up from eBay. As you can tell, they are pretty dirty. They definitely look like they've been used and abused. Um, not terribly, but they definitely got some wear marks on them. Now, to clean these up today, we're gonna to be using a few different products from Rejuvenator. The main product is gonna be the Rejuvenator Essential Kit. Also, we're gonna pair it with the Rejuvenator Brass Bristle Brush. Also, the Rejuvenator Dry Suede Kit. And also, the Rejuvenator Mink Oil. All of these products are available at rejuvenator.com. And make sure you use my link down below to help save you guys some money. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, save, favorite, all of the things on this video. And I'm gonna pick one lucky commenter to receive a free Rejuvenator Essential Kit as well. But other than that, let's get into this cleaning. We have our cleaning station all set up. Now I went ahead and picked the Rejuvenator Essential Kit to clean this pair of shoes for a couple different reasons. One, I did not wanna put this sneaker in the laundry system because the delicate nubuck and suede materials that are on this shoe. Also, I'm confident that this shoe is gonna bleed like crazy once we put some solution on there. So I went with the Rejuvenator Essential Kit, which includes four ounce solution, our three brushes, soft, medium, and stiff, as well as microfiber towel. I also paired this cleaning with a few other products. They're gonna be the drying rack and bowl combo, the cleaning mat, as well as shoe trees. Now for before and after purposes, we're only gonna be cleaning the right shoe. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this left shoe. First step we have to do is remove these laces. Laces are removed. We're just gonna drop them in our bowl of water for this entire cleaning to help get them nice and clean. Next, we're gonna grab our adjustable shoe tree and adjust it to size. Now, the great thing about the shoe tree is it helps reshape the sneaker as well as gives you a nice hard toe box to really get in to get all this dirt and grime off. Next, we're gonna add two squirts of solution to the bowl of water. Now that we've got the solution in the bowl, before we go ahead and just start soaping up the sneaker and getting it super wet, what I wanna do is take our soft bristle brush. I'm just gonna dry brush to try to get as much of this dirt and debris and stuff off this sneaker as I possibly can. Now, the fact that this sneaker is a premium Nubuck sneaker, you might be able to get by with just doing a dry cleaning. I don't know how much of this stuff is gonna come off with dry cleaning. That's why we're gonna use the solution. Depending on how dirty the shoe is, is really gonna determine if you need to use a wet cleaning or not. Now also, we don't wanna put this sneaker in the laundry because of how delicate this premium suede is. This orange is gonna bleed. The reason why I know that is because I can already see on the sock liner as well as on the interior of the shoe and on the tongue, it's already got orange bleeding just from wearing the sneaker as well as the laces were orange too. So you wanna be very careful with how much solution and water you put onto the sneaker. That's why we're gonna do it with the dry brush method first. And then from there, we will lightly start soaping it up. Dry brushing is all complete. It didn't do a lot, but it definitely took that top surface dirt off of the sneaker, which is good because you don't want to take that dirt and just shove it down into the material. Now, anytime you're cleaning suede, nubucks, premium materials, something super soft like this, normally you'd want to do an inconspicuous test somewhere on the sneaker. You know, typically like on the back heel area, maybe on the inside, a little bit of the shoe a little bit with the solution to check to see how bad the sneaker is going to bleed or not. I already know the sneaker is going to bleed, so I don't need to do that. So what I'm going to do is just very lightly dampen the shoe, scrub it around, and then use our microfiber towel and quickly pat dry as I move around the shoe. Now, whenever you wet one of these panels, you wanna make sure that you wet the entire panel. So that way you can also try and dry the panel as evenly as possible. That's the biggest thing when you're working with suede and nubucks is letting it dry. So you really wanna to try to make sure that every panel that you're getting wet, you're getting the entire panel wet. So that way it can dry all at the same time and as evenly as possible. All right, I finished my first pass using the soft bristle brush on the uppers of this sneaker. Now the soft bristle brush is great because it really breaks down all of that top surface dirt as well as gives you a nice soapy surface to really be able to clean the inside of the sneaker. Now I've gone over it one time and I've really just lightly gone over it with a little bit of water because you don't want to oversaturate the material. I can still see there's some dirt and debris and stuff still kind of all around the toe box area, also along the, the, the back heel cup area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the soft bristle brush again and just lightly go over it one more time and being sure that I don't oversaturate the material or let the water really sit for a long period of time. 
All right, I went ahead and did the uppers for a second time. I also hit the tongue a whole bunch of times as well as the inside sock liner using our soft bristle brush to really get it as clean as I possibly can. Now, one of the benefits of using this solution is it's got a lot of great oils and natural like degreasers and, and grime kind of like killers to really get that stuff off of the sneaker. Typically with like a leather sneaker or some other materials, you may let it just sit to really break down that grime and grunt and soot and everything else that's on the sneakers. But since this is a premium new book and suede, we don't want to do that. That's why you might have to do it a couple of times and just lightly go over it and just really break down the layers of the dirt on the sneaker. Now, after I've got done doing the uppers as well as the tongue and the sock liner, we're going to move on to our insoles. And then from here, we're going to move on to the midsoles and the outsoles. Insoles cleaned up, put back in the shoe. The shoe tree's been reinserted to make sure that the form of the sneaker gets reset. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the midsoles of these sneakers. Now, I'm gonna be using the medium bristle brush, which is great for any of your hard rubbers, some of your leathers, and other natural type materials. You wanna stay away from using the medium bristle brush on any sort of delicate or soft materials, such as suede, nubucks, some premium tumbled leathers even with the medium bristle brush will really rub it off, and also some painted surfaces. But we're gonna hit the midsole with the medium bristle brush and we're gonna pay close attention to try to avoid getting any of the upper materials wet. And also I'm gonna be using the towel as we go along to just really help wipe up any of that excess moisture and suds that we have right away. Just finished hitting the midsoles using our medium bristle brush. Next, we're gonna tackle these outsoles using our stiff bristle brush. Stiff bristle brush is excellent for hitting any of these hard rubber outsole materials, as well as any of the deeper stubborn staining or marks around the midsole areas and some of these like outer edges on the outsoles. Also, I'm gonna be very mindful while I'm cleaning this. I don't want any of the soap to go back over and saturate the uppers of the shoe again. So I'm gonna to try to let gravity be my friend and I'm gonna to try to position the shoe so that way as I'm cleaning, the soap will continue to run down and hit onto our cleaning mat and hopefully not get the uppers saturated anymore. That's gonna do it for the stiff bristle brush and the outsoles of these sneakers. Next, we need to go ahead and tackle these laces that have been sitting in the bowl of water this entire time. Now, since these laces are super fat and all of the SV laces are, they hold a lot of water in them. So I'm just pulling them through the towel to help get any of the excess moisture out of them before we take the shoe and the laces outside to dry. It's been a couple of hours. We've let the sneaker sit outside. It's completely dried. Now, one thing I wanted to remind you guys is when you are cleaning these delicate materials, as I was cleaning it, you watched me pat dry the sneaker, and I didn't also overly saturate each of the panels that we were cleaning. We just lightly cleaned them, so that way the shoe is evenly dried. There's no water marks, there's no water stains, or any, it looks like there doesn't appear to be any water damage. But the sneaker is pretty dried out now since we did wash it. Our solution does have natural oils in them that helps clean and condition the materials, but it also does dry out the suede a little bit. So for that, we typically would be using our dry suede kit, like I said in the beginning of this video, but this material isn't that bad. And as it sits, it actually cleaned up very nicely. So I don't think we need to use the dry suede kit, which includes the eraser and the brush. So I already have my medium bristle brush out from our essential kit to go ahead and reset the nap on this suede because it is a little bit dry and it's not as smooth or as buttery soft texture as it was prior to cleaning. All right, we've reset the nap on this sneaker. It's looking and feeling great. Now, one thing we did notice was the extreme color bleed of this shoe. As I was scrubbing it earlier, I don't know if you guys could see it on camera, but all of the soap and the bubbles was turning orange. My brush was turning orange. I had some orange on my towel. So the sneaker's looking a little bit dull and a little bit dingy, but that's okay. We talked about this product earlier in the video, and that is mink oil. It works great on all your suede, nubucks, leathers, and other soft, delicate materials or anything that's been dyed. What happens is this stuff just adds a little bit more life back into it to make it looking vibrant. Now, typically you wanna spray this outside or in a well-ventilated area. Hold the sneaker a few inches away from you and you wanna spray a couple even coats and just evenly coat the sneaker lightly all the way around. 
and then we're gonna use the medium bristle brush from our essential kit, and we're just gonna kind of brush it in. Sometimes that might take one or two coats to get the vibrancy back into the life of your sneaker. Shoe is looking great. Now that we've added a couple coats of mink oil to it and got it all nice and brushed in, it's back to that nice, bright, vibrant orange that it was when they first released. All we have left to do now is just lace them up. Now these shoes dropped back in December. I actually remember when these dropped because I was sitting in this exact chair when I got the email from Concepts that says my draw entry had been selected. I literally sat right here, pulled my phone out, got saw the notification, boom, bang, boom, hit on the special box, got them in. Uh, if you go to my Instagram, you can see I've done a whole bunch of unboxings with the special box pair, which came with the special lobster phone uh, collector's box. It also came with the 400% bare brick, the, the shoes, it came with two pairs of laces, and then also the black bands. Let me know what you guys think about the Concepts uh, Lobster series. What's your favorite colorway? And then also, let me know, do you guys like regular dunks or SB dunks over one or the other? I'm personally a big fan of SBs, um, just the, the, the fit, the comfort, and everything else, I really like them. Also, make sure if you guys got SBs, make sure you lace them right, number one. All right, anyways, so that's gonna wrap up this cleaning. Let's talk about which products we used to get these sneakers clean. Firstly, we used the Rejuvenator Essential Kit. It is essential in providing the greatest clean for your sneakers. It includes four ounce solution, three brushes, and your microfiber towel. Next, we used Drying Rack and Bowl Combo. This thing comes in clutch. Great spot to keep your brushes dry, as well as have a nice bowl to put your solution and water in. And the cleaning mat. This thing's great. It provides you a nice place to clean your sneakers without worrying about getting your tabletop, your surface, whatever you're cleaning on, dirty, wet, all mucked up, whatever else. You literally just pick it up, clean it off, boom, on to the next one. Also, we used shoe trees. Can't see it, it's inside the shoe. Perfect for keeping the shape of your sneaker, helping give you a nice surface to put extra pressure on your toe box to really get all that dirt out. And it also helps alleviate and eliminate creasing as well. We talked about, but we didn't actually use the Rejuvenator Dry Suede Kit in the beginning of this video. This is great for suede sneakers. It's also great to have for all of those little spot cleanings. The dry eraser helps really get that muck and dirt and everything marks out of the suede. And then the brush helps get that nap right back to its perfect, perfect texture. We also talked about, but didn't use the brass bristle brush. Now the brass bristle brush is pivotal if you have water damaged suede, if you've got super bad suede that's really crunchy or crispy, this suede, luckily, since we didn't have those issues, we didn't need to use the brass bristle brush. We got by by just using the medium brush, part of the essential kit. But it's great to have if you do own any suede or nubuck sneakers, because if you do need to reset that nap and really get the material back to its nice, soft, buttery texture, this is pivotal to have. And lastly, mink oil. I don't know if you remember what this looked like 10 minutes ago before we put the nice fresh coat of mink oil on these, but these definitely changed the entire appearance of the sneaker. It adds life back into the shoe. It gives you that nice bold color pop that it had beforehand, and it's just an excellent conditioner for all different types of materials. A must have. Now you can shop all of these products online at rejuvenator.com. Make sure you use my code below. That'll help save you a little bit of money. This wraps up this cleaning on these Concepts X Nike SB Orange Lobsters. Once again, my name's Nick. I hope this video has been beneficial to you. Now you don't have to be so worrisome about going into cleaning your Concepts X Nike SB Dunk Orange Lobsters or Purple Lobsters, Green Lobsters, Yellow Lobsters, whatever color lobsters you have. Also, leave a comment below so that way you get your chance to win a free Rejuvenator Essential Kit compliments of me. Stay tuned to next week, we're gonna clean the hypest dad sneaker around, the Nike Vomero 5s.